What is going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Ready Amer and welcome to Game of Thrones, that's just the title of it. Uh, it's actually an RPG. Uh, we're gonna try this uh, new, it's, a, it's an RPG as I said, uh, someone very close to me, very dear to me got it for me. <laughs> I hadn't heard about it before so um, I checked it out, uh, I tried playing a tutorial of some kind, like the beginning of it. Um, uh, decided, sure, I can, i try it out, and I'll see, uh, we'll see what you guys think about it. Um, just a warning for you though, the dialogue and the voice play is a bit cringeworthy, you know. Um, but apparently they got it at least officially licensed, because they have literally, like, Game of Thrones. They have the theme music in the background, which I'm gonna talk over, because I don't want this video to get taken down, because I used... Um, couple of copyright, uh, copyrighted music or something like that. Let's go to options and I'll see if graphics are all done. Test the quality, it doesn't go higher. Okay, this is all, this is all on the false quality. Oh yeah. So, uh, let's go and start a new game. Confirm. And we can choose a difficulty. We choose launch, high difficulty. Knight or Squire will go with Knights, even though I haven't really experienced any actual gameplay out of this. So let's uh, let's get right into it. It's not the highest call of the game by the looks of it. Game of Thrones. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. I think it's I think it's semi based out of the show and the books. Like, don't quote me on it, but, um, I really don't know. Year 298. They got official voice Westeros, actors, at least. Realm of the Seven Kingdoms. The world has changed. The ancient Targaryen line of kings had its fire extinguished after reigning over the Seven Kingdoms for many centuries. Robert Baratheon's rebellion unified most of the realm's great houses under a single banner thus bringing about the fall of the Targaryens. Thus, 15 years ago, he acceded to the Iron Throne, becoming Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. Far from the Game of Thrones and political intrigues, far to the north, in the land where winter seems never to die, a border cuts the continent in two, the Wall. The Night's Watch has been its guardian for thousands of years, protecting the realm at all costs from wildling attacks and other menaces from beyond. The danger is constant, the cold is bitter, and death is sweet for those who fall. At times, even the bravest warriors give up and attempt to escape this white purgatory. Interesting. Somewhere south of the wall. It seems to be taking place at the wall. Let's go with that. I knew that you were the one he'd send, Mars. Damned moment. It had to be you, huh? It's over, old brother. All your attempts are in vain. You know I'll end up taking you to Castle Black, dead or alive. Why not let me get away for old time's sake? After all, we're brothers. You betrayed us by attempting to escape, my friend. My duty is to bring you back. You know there's only one way to leave the Night's Watch. I'm sorry, Moors, you leave me no choice. Huh? Oh, shit. 
shit. Well, hello. <laughs> He's dead. Chapter 1, Moss. 15 years, it's been 15 years since you abandoned your family and your lands to walk the icy stones of the wall. The sole barrier against the darkness that threatens to sweep down from the north. Your crimes was choosing to act with integrity in a world divided between those who command and those who serve. In return, you were given another choice. The same choice as all other criminals and traitors of the Seven Kingdoms. Death or a life of, in a, um, of exile in the Night's Watch. But wouldn't death uh, have been a far sweeter fate than a life of misery and violence? The outside world has forgotten this desolated place, lost in eternal winter. The wall slowly drains every last breath on those who patrol it, stealing the last dr uh, dregs of warmth from their souls. On this uh, bleak day, after hunting down a deserter, you are returning to the place you now call home, the headquarter of the Night's Watch, Castle Black. Alright, I mean, the dialogue isn't cringe-worthy, like, extremely, but, I mean, I, I, I've heard better, at least. Um, Moss Westford, you are Moss, a ranger in the Night's Watch. The military uh, order uh, charged with protecting and holding the uh, immense walls separating the realm of the Seven Kingdoms from the wild lands to the north. You are tormented by your past, a veteran and hero of Robert's Rebellion. Uh, which brought an end to the ancient order. You betrayed your lord. You were forced to leave your family and homeland to go to the wall, far from the warmth and love of your wife and daughter. Um. All right. Hedge knights. Magnar. I like the hedge knight style. Um. Let's go next. Um, let's go with a bit of string. Uh, go with some luck. Let's go with some more string. There we go. Devastation. Let's go with Pierce. Right here. There we go. Next. Cutting weapons. Swords. Let's go with much with that. Maces. Projectiles. Short blades. Let's go with some of those. Can't, that seems. Why not? Oh, I don't have no points. Well, go next. Um. Let's go. If your open is bleeding, damage plus. That's free. Um, deflection. Let's go with grayscale. Um, let's go with brutes and gout. Yeah, sure. Comfort. Don't want to spend too much time on the creation. Ooh, when have we got some? Castle Black. Nothing's changed since the day we arrived. Fifteen years. Remember, Morris? We were so strong back then. At the time, I really believed in the mission of the Night's Watch, you know? You've changed, old brother. I never thought you would betray us. Aye, well, you've always had a knack for choosing friends. One night here, and you'd already bashed in three of our brother's skulls. I wasn't the only one there, if I remember rightly. <laughs> That's me. I never think of the consequences. All I do is give. Look at this, boys. Morse finally brought back that worm, Gorol. Well done. Some men bet against you, but I wager you'd make it. It must have been quite a hunt. Gorold knows how to cover his tracks and isn't half bad with the sword. 
I've known you for 15 years, but I still had just a shred of hope that I'd give you and your damn dog the slip. I would have hated getting caught by a little shit like our friend here. Hold your tongue, deserter. That's not what your mother said last night. I'll teach you about respect, dog. Enough. I forbid you to touch him. You would not have had the slightest chance against him, blade in hand. Tell me, where is Mormont? The Lord Commander is in front of the Commander's Keep with the new recruits. They've just sworn their oaths. So they are finally sworn brothers of the Night's Watch. Fools. Now you can teach them a little lesson. Right, Moors? <laughs> I mean, did they really have to put a, your mom joke in there? It's like, come on. <laughs> Otherwise, it's, it's pretty interesting. It's probably gonna take me a while to figure out the RPG Mors, stuff. You brought this traitor back. I knew I could count on you. I did what I had to, Lord Commander. Your modesty does you honor. Recruits, listen to me. Moors here is our best cracker. Now that you are sworn brothers of the Night's Watch, he will mold you into rangers. He has just returned from a very delicate mission, tracking down Gorals, who took the cowardly route and deserted. In the name of the Night's Watch, I thank you, Moors. I know how hard it must have been for you to hunt down a friend. Oh, what's this? I can choose. Ooh, choices. The honor of the Night's Watch above all. I swore an oath to the Watch. If we go back on our word and our mission, then we are nothing. If only all my men spoke like that. Speaking of new brothers, respect. I see only four of them. Where is the fifth? Someone attacked him last night. He's been looked after by Maester Eamon as we speak. One of our brothers has broken his vows in the most sordid manner. That traitor then beat the poor boy and left him in the snow more dead than alive. Damn it. I swear I'll skin the culprit alive. Alas, we do not know if the boy will recognize his assailant, or even if he is to survive. Too bad. The brat certainly was a pretty boy. Soft as a virgin. What a pity I never managed to corner him. Okay. Um... Not very well chosen for your last words. What? Did I upset somebody? Silence, traitor. Each time I pass judgment on a deserter, I feel the bitterness of failure. It is my duty, as Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, to make true brothers of you. This morning, you were strangers. Now, you have all sworn to honor our oath. Some come to us as knights, carrying out their duties, and some as criminals, forced to choose between the noose and the wall. Once you take the black, your past is dead. You must wash away your formal loyalties, forget your family and friends. They cease to exist. Such is the strength of our oath. No wife, no children, no lands. All that matters is defending the wall and the realm. We are your only home. We are your duty. We are your new family, the only one that matters now. More than 8,000 years ago, Humanity itself was nearly lost during the long night. Our predecessors then built the wall that you see behind us. This massive wall of ice 
is 700 feet high and divides the continent in half. It protects the realm of the Seven Kingdoms from threats beyond the wall. Defending it is our purpose, our duty. The Night's Watch has unfailingly carried out this mission for centuries, generation after generation. Wildlings, cold, wind, and dishonor. Those are your enemies, even in the midst of a summer such as this one. We have all taken our vows before the gods, whichever gods they are. If you betray your brothers, if you break this sacred oath. Throughout the Seven Kingdoms of Westeros, you will be met with one punishment. Death. Pass the sentence and get this over with. Gorald was a brother of the Night's Watch for almost 15 years, but that bears no relevance. He will be executed for desertion. Beyond our mission, we no longer exist. Any last words, deserter? After all my years spent here, I've forgotten what warmth is. The cold has stolen the very memory. Go ahead and smile at the sight of me, the wretched deserter. But you may do the same one day. You won't be able to take it any longer, and you'll do anything just to live again. I tried my luck, and I failed. He looks like one of the gods from on, uh, boys. Dishonored. <laughs> do it well. Jeez, this is a long freaking cutscene. Goodbye, old friend. I'll see you on the other side. Swing the axe. Kapoof. Ooh, blood. That's pretty clean. Sweet. You will live and you will die in the shadow of the wall. There is no other way. Welcome to the Night's Watch. Moors, take Ronit, Poddy, Seltigar, and Patrick and put together a patrol. Make sure they smell a little less like summer before winter comes. Right. Listen, since I need to teach you to survive at the wall, let's see what you're worth with a blade in your hand. Gather in the exercise yard. Oh, finally. I get to play! It took 18 minutes for me to be able to get to play this. Looks pretty good, I mean. Look at this. Some light rays and... Got my dog here. He doesn't look like much of a dog, but... I mean, he has no freaking fur. How are you not freezing to death? Castle Black looks pretty dope. Hello. Okay, I can't speak to him. Guess we're going this way. Pride comes before a fall, as my grandmother used to say. How wise. She was the crone in Carnes, your grand. Con. So it's just leaving coins everywhere. Come on, hole. I just want to take a look around because I don't want to go into another cutscene. I'm just afraid of it. Fighting this... Oh, okay. It's pretty interesting. I wonder if there's a... I don't think there's a first person key though. I kind of... kind of like first person. Anyway guys, I think that'll be all for this episode. I'm sorry it took so much to... Get introduction done with, but uh, seems to be quite a lot to this game, and uh, I'll play it for as long as I can bear it. I mean, if it gets too difficult for me, I'll probably end up delaying it a little bit. But uh, yeah, I enjoy it. 
So anyway, guys, thank you for watching this far. Um, ooh, what's this? I don't even know. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. Which should be in a few days, perhaps. I'll throw some Crusader Kings in between this and uh, in between episodes, I suppose. See you around.